Hello here. I'm going to demonstrate how to install SUSE Enterprise Linux 11 on VMware in this video. So I'm going to install this SUSE Enterprise Linux 11 server on VMware ESXi. <coughs> so in order to install I need to create a VMware profile. So just click on new virtual machine. Go with typical next and give a name for that virtual machine i'm just going to give a name as cells 11 next and specify the disk size how much gb you are going to provide for that virtual machine so i have around 18 gb free in this data store next select linux and under the section of linux you will see novel to send the press linux 11 64 bit okay so next i'm going to default with uh, one internet virtual card okay so if you want more you can select here say next and i'm going to go with the default 16 gb of size next and finish creating the profile so here it is created in this bottom of this uh, vSphere client you can able to see the progress so it is completed and here is your VM right click on the VM and open console and power on, this, power on the VM ok so I still need to attach the ISO so I have the ISO in here, so send cells 11, I'm just going to select the ISO and let me see whether it is connected or not, it is connected, so just press control on insert. okay so it is able to find the ISO now and here is the option boot from hard disk installation I'm going to install a new operating system so I'm going to select installation if you would like to see how what is working background just press escape or down key arrow so here you can see it is loading basic drivers okay so here is your welcome screen and this is the license agreement you have to accept in order to proceed next okay so here is a CD which we have attached if you wanted to check the ISO it will check the ISO and it will take lot of time so I'm not going to check the ISO since I have installed this uh, installed this ISO previously and it is working fine so I don't need to check that I'll say next here's the option for new installation there's two options are grayed out of, co of course like you do not have opening system running on this disk so that's why the other two options are currently grayed out you can select the time zone I'll select SCR Kolkata select next 
okay so which environment you are going to install this operating system is it a physical system virtual or in virtual do you have two different environments gen and kvm so as per your requirement you can choose this i'm going to use this as a virtual machine virtual machine environment with gen click next and in this section there is a keyboard section partitioning software and language so if you select install it will go for installation and it will not ask you for create the partition and there will be an automated installation will be started so I'm not going to say install here instead I'm going to create a partitioning uh, click on change and click on partitioning and here's the disk and I'm going to customize it so this is the option click on next so this is a disk of 16 GB I'm going to create partitioning partition under that so I'll click on partition and click on configure not configure click on import mount point not this one eight partition okay so here's the primary primary partition click next specify the partition size I'll give 12 GB next select the mount point I'm, I'm going to format this partition as ext3 mount point is slash finish here is the slash partition has been created I'm going to create one more partition primary partition next and give 200 MB and this partition is going to be boot so I'll select boot here and say finish and one more important partition is swap I'll say next here and select one GB select next here you have to specify the swap partition and more point is swap so I think we are done so these are the minimal partition you require to install your operating system once you are once you are created all with this partition say accept and here's the option called install click on install this is the license agreement just agree and say install So installation process has been start started so it will take a little time to complete this installation I'm going to pause this video for now and I'll resume back once it is completed okay so package installation has been completed and system has automatically rebooted once the system is rebooted it will give you a screen like this so we have completed so far here configuration so now it is asking for root password to set so i'm going to set the root password 
as Red Hat and click next so here's the option next is host name so you can specify the host name whatever you want sales 11 domain example.com so I don't want to change this host name by via DSCP so uh, I just uncheck that option and assign a host name to loopback IP click on next and it will check for the network configuration so I'm going to skip this because it will going to check each and every options here uh, under network configuration we have general network setting firewall setting network interface so this will take a little time so I'm going to just skip it and say next it will check for the internet whether internet connection is functional so I'm going to skip this option again the network services not required so I'll say skip this configuration here's the section for user authentication mode method so I'm going to use anyway local account so this will write in slash etc password if you're using a lab and IS you can specify them so additional user creation is an optional so you can create users uh, once opening system has been installed and later you can create additional users for now I'm going to skip this we are left with two option two steps one is cleanup release note and hardware configuration so what are the changes we have done they are currently writing okay so here there is some information so if you would like to read this you will have some information about SUSE okay so it is about release node I'll say next and again hardware configuration setting I'll skip it finish so installation is completed so all this information which we have made those are going to write in this XML file so this is what it is saying I'll say continue We're still trying to write this all information. Okay, so I think we are almost done with the installation.
wait so here it is so here is a login prompt you can log in with your root user right click on the desktop and click open terminal so here it is and the partition which we have created root partition 12 gb we had spe specify while creating and boot 200 mb and swap is 1 gb i believe yes okay so this is how you have to install susan enterprise linux in vmware okay so i think this is it uh, if you find any difficulty installing susan enterprise linux please uh, comment please write your comment in the youtube comment section i will try to get back to you i hope this video is informative for you thank you for watching